Hey folks, welcome back to Mountain Core in the town of Noble Axe. I've been doing some thinking since last episode. Remember that that ridiculous plan I had to go and hunt a wild boar? <laughs> One swipe with their tusk and we were almost dead. So I wanted to get in some meat. I kind of forgot that, you know, oh, that moves slow there. We can fish. In fact, have you guys noticed the water? The water is really cool in this game. Back when this was King Under the Mountain, the developer had put out a video of how he created this with many different layers of lighting and swirls and randomness and to get everything to interact with each other to create that effect. So, and the, the, um, the light that travels along with the mouse pointer and is able to be blocked in shadows by objects. Let's see if I can get into something a little more complicated. Remember the boulders? Yeah, so it just lights up the, the side of the boulder that the light is on. So that, that's pretty cool. Anyway, yeah, wild boars, fish. We sold all of our fishing poles, but it kind of you know slipped my mind that we could be using one of those. We do have a fisherman. Fisher Lady Magna Hild is she's a neophyte fisher and she's hauling an iron axe right now. Where is she? She's hauling. Oh, she's putting something away. We have um, I, I've set up. We started to dig this area out and set it up for tools. In fact, I wanted to change that. <clears throat> Let's make this kind of a temporarily a generic uh, stockpile. Grab things that aren't in other places. Like, um... Hmm. Well, all the tools. We can dump extra seeds in there. Actually, no, I'll put those with the food. Uh, treasure gems and whatnot. They can go somewhere. Weapons, until we get a, a, an official weapons area. Products. What does that mean? What have we got here? We don't really have a products area. I just set this one up before recording for just ore stones. These guys, so it'll be near the crusher. I set this one up for all of the logs and planks coming out of, into and out of here. So that's what those two are going to be. But we have lots of other things that could go into here. So we could toss in maybe everything but. Let's see here. Planks, blocks, I guess that's about it. Everything else could move over there. Eventually, we'll have specific places for a lot of these items, and you know, elsewhere in the uh, in the settlement. But that is for there. I laid out some more bedrooms. So I've only got these four available to reach. Everything else is isolated, so they can't actually start mining them. The danger is we're going to break through another wall over here and open up a big void. You know, maybe there's a big void right in here. I don't know. And maybe there's something in there we don't have the ability to fight. So uh, the mushroom men were, were challenging enough for non-fighters. And I realized I'd made a mistake as I was editing this. We had set up... Let's see, what are you doing? You're, is there anybody who's not really doing anything super important? Can I tell? Eating, foraging three crushed ore, hauling hermitite ore... Hauling oaken log, transferring. What is transferring? You are transferring water. Okay. Um, who is hauling a log? Can we just look across here and figure that out? We can't. You're hauling ore. Okay, I'm going to bug you. So you are Darby. Darby, you are right here. When I switched everybody over to military... The zero to one is actually their skill level in using an axe. Not very good. We have, Darby has a skill of 30 for brawling. If I had left it at brawling, we would have won almost immediately. That's the difference. They didn't have any skill in using the tools, the weapons that I placed on them. I didn't realize what I was seeing. That's her strength right there. Later, when... We have a military, and they get a chance to 
go into, let's see, can I, I guess I can do it real quick. Armory? No, barracks. Barracks, let's just throw something in so we can get into this. We can put training dummies in, we can put archery targets in, and then we can house our armor and our weapons. And by the way, the weapon racks are also tool racks. There are two choices inside there, what you want to do with them. Kind of like these chests right here. These guys, you can choose to put treasure in them, and then which ones. Well, I'll take it back, it's just coins in this one. Otherwise, under treasure, normally, there would be... Where's treasure? Down here, there's normally coins and gems. So... It doesn't give you the option in there for the gems. But the tool rack, the weapons racks, will give you options of making them all tools or making them all weapons or a combination thereof. So we could put tool racks out. We can put saws and, and axes out near the wood area, for example. Chisels and picks over by the, the uh, stone area, whatever we want to do. So we can really fine tune that later if we want to. I'm kind of, I'm not really running the game right now because I'm trying to catch up. I'm watching the Discord. This bug has been fixed. Now the chests apparently will take gold and silver within each other and, and they'll share and, and uh, there's no longer a, a conflict there causing uh, you know lots of problems. But apparently there's now a problem with baking bread. So for the next day or two, I'm going to make sure I don't quite in, get into the bakery of the... Uh, of the game, we'll, we'll let that bug get fixed before. But I'm watching the Discord. I can see what's what's fixed. What's almost every day there's another update to this game coming out. And by the time you guys see this, it'll be oh probably less than a week before uh, this game does release. So they've got less than a week to get to stomp out all the rest of these bugs and not create too many more new ones. <laughs> I think the bread is a new bug. I think that was created by something else. But. Yeah, a very active dev team, constantly working on it, constantly updating, repairing, and getting it ready for early access release to then start working on new features and, and advancing the game. And, you know, if you get a, get a chance to purchase this, please do, if this interests you. The better the early access release for them, the more funds that come in, the more they can now invest in to more team members and cranking out the rest of this game much faster. So keep that in mind. A little dev team needs a, a paycheck to, uh, to be able to keep working on it. All right, so food is a thing. And for those that maybe didn't catch this last time, you make food in these cauldrons. You send the cauldrons to the feasting hall. They then come grab, that guy's empty. So grab a meal, there's seven meals left, sit down and eat it. Otherwise they have to eat their, their rock bread rations, which will run out someday. So the sooner we can get food constantly supplied in here, the sooner that's going to, to uh, not become a death spiral like it happened in one of my other games I was playing and all of a sudden, notices of so-and-so just died so-and-so just starved to death oh someone else just starved to death that's not good so food is a thing to get on top of they do come with quite a bit of food to begin with but it does run out someday um priorities this guy one thing i have noticed is that the priorities on the the uh cauldrons do not stay where you left them as soon as it finishes its cycle of running out of food it defaults back to a neutral or normal which is fine if you don't use the high priorities like i do on everything you want done you know i want to get some fuel going so we can get this going and that going i need a fishing pole so this guy and that space right there let's get a fishing pole going or do we have one by now can i tell uh there that would be a tool and are we alphabetical we kind of are huh hammers chisels axes anvils we have no fishing poles okay so we need that going but then they'll all be out here doing just that fishing pole fishing pole no and not be uh, working on 
the normal priorities like moving the kettle for the cauldron from there to there, which is now back to being a regular priority. No, it stayed as a, as a real priority that time. Okay, so someone's going to rush in here and start throwing things into that pot. Oh, I wish I could get this block out of here. We're delivering waters to the cauldron. Okay, so this must be our cook, our chef. No, it's not. You're just delivering. You are... Oh, sorry. You're still military. Yeah, that's not going to do any good. Why don't you go back to uh, chopping wood now? Thank you. You are our chef. There you are. You're grabbing a box of something, throwing it in there. What was that? Vegetables. Okay. And you're going to go up and grab some more mushroom type things. Toss it in there. So, elf spain mushrooms and glow mushrooms. And some plump helmets. No, I think it is. Yeah. Toss those in there. We'll see what that one is. And then I assume light the fire and. Oh, you threw that over here on the bench to be worked on. So. 2.2 available. I don't know what the green bar is. Is that ticking off? Did that build up? It doesn't say that there's now 12 meals in there. So I guess we're not quite ready yet. Anyway, I need you. Where did you go? What do you look like? Right there. I need you to go get a fishing pole. I need someone to make that fishing pole. So how are we going to get that to happen? You went to... Oh, you are also... No, that's not you. Who's my... There you are. So you came down here to do something. I think they also deal with the water. And this is officially a kitchen. Filling this guy up. Okay. So it would be good to have more than one chef we do have two so inger is also a chef and inger apparently is finishing off the soups no she's getting something to eat she just grabbed a bowl and is over here getting some food although i've noticed a couple of updates ago when they eat wherever they sit down the food shows up somewhere else on the table so something's gone wrong with the uh, uh the count of which chair owns which a piece of real estate on this table so <laughs> something's gone wrong there you know coding a game is very complex you you add something here and don't realize what it just did to that code over there in return yeah he's eating over there right now so just don't notice that right now you are hauling coal because apparently there's nothing to cook don't understand that i don't know what is it what's left that's needed unless we need something that is not mushroom so oh did we get all the potatoes out of here we did not let's increase the priority of hauling that i think it is that's the pallet that's the pallet the potato i don't seem to have any way to say go get that uh the food stockpile Let's increase its priority and get all the food in here much faster. Food and seeds. Ah, okay. Yeah, did we do that? We didn't. So your food, let's get all the seeds into there. Let's get all the greenery sort of things in there, which is malt, flour, hemp, wheat, grains. So let's get all that stuff stored in there. Can we get the rest of the rocks out of here? We cannot. We can say, can you guys put that saw away? And whatever these two things are, just to get them moved. But we need to free up a carpenter to get to work over here. So why is that? There's always a reason. My carpenters are Magnahild, who is also a fisherman. Ah. But since there's no fishing, you should have dropped right into carpentry. Okay. And then Solve Edge? Solve? 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 don't know how to pronounce the J. Um, okay, you are also a farmer, but you're carpentry first. So both of them would have been doing carpentry first. But carpentry is also building things like this. What are you? I see. It looks like this is built, but that is not. Oh, we're still waiting for another barrel to officially build this. Okay. Okay. And was there anything else that I needed in the carpenter shop? 
I needed this. I set the priority up. And another barrel. Right there. There already is one. So why is that not officially available? It's sitting right here. An awful beach barrel. Yeah, their, their skills are not very good yet. So that will improve. Oh, okay. So we have a lot of carpentry or construction going on over here. And this I really wanted to get going, so I increased his priority. So let's take... No, it isn't. It's down to just the higher, not the highest. So what is the highest? Um, let's take you guys down. All of the inputs, the imports, I like to leave it at the highest. As soon as there's an opening, go and fill it. Whether we use it or not isn't as important as the fact that it's definitely available as soon as we do need to use it. So all of these are the highest, but is there something in there? There's no, there are no planks. We're not making a fishing pole because we have no planks. We have planks over here, though. Let's take you up a notch. Maybe this being at higher and this being at highest meant that they wanted to keep it here instead of moving it to there. Here's the the uh, stockpile for the logs and planks. It's also at highest. Let's take you down to high in case that matters. These guys aren't as important. I've got quite a few of them, so let's take you down really low on priority. And highest priority of making sure this thing's full of logs all the time. But it could well be that we have to fill all of the construction projects first before they're going to drop off any more planks over here. That might be a problem. Um, though it is a higher priority than everything else. I'm still trying to figure out all the little nuances of the game. So I'm not running it real fast right now. I'm just kind of reverse engineering everything for a while. I sat back and, and edited those first two videos and watched everything again. And when you're recording, you don't get to see it all. When you're editing, when you're watching it over, you notice all those things you didn't notice the first time. We still have one mushroom man left. But we're bringing seeds in here now. Okay. And... This was meant for all of the stones. Ore, crushed ore. In fact, we can take uh, ore out of there. And we can take logs out of there. We now have other places for those. Um, we can get these moved now. So it's only going to call for... We have 18 spaces. 12 are available. Because 6 are taken up by bushes. And these 12 apparently are already queued up but they're queued up in different places not the ones that i would like to move <clears throat> so i could say let's get the bushes out of there so that we can have more spaces available so let's spend a little bit of time and watch that happen get rid of these bushes get rid of these bushes kick that priority up get it done and we should see 12 of 18 change here real soon don't know if it does it live or if I gotta click back in. Yeah, 14 of 18. 16 of 18. And the last two have gone 18 of 18. And now I'll bet you these guys now have room. So now the priority system has snagged them and said, what do you want to do with these? Now I'm gonna increase this priority, get these moved over here. Now there's more room for logs and planks. So there's there's little stuff in the background. When something gets frustrating and why is this not working? Once you start to tear the the rules apart underneath the surface to figure out how everything works, then you can start logically putting the uh, all the pieces of the puzzle back together again. So that now that this is starting to clear out, we should get more of the stones that are in our way available to move out, clearing up pathways. Though, not as many as I would have thought. Must still be a lot of other stones that are flagged somewhere. There's a lot of space in here. Although, this is all... Um, raw material. So, it's grabbing all of the uncut gems. Um, actually, there's not a lot of stuff here. Crushed ore. 
which we don't have much of. Rough boulders are what I'm looking for. We don't have mushroom logs. We don't have hemp fiber bundles. Don't have... Well, we do have some uncut gems, maybe. They would be the stones that are... Oh, yeah, I don't think we have any examples left. They would be a stone made out of this right here. We had a few of them, and they're sitting right there right now. Jasper, I think? Jasper, yeah. Um, so what else could be taking up room in here? Barrel staves are one of them, apparently. No, that's left over from the wagon we tore apart. That's from the wagon wheels or something. Um, so back to small bones, medium bones, and large bones. We haven't done any hunting successfully, so that's not it. Huh. Anything else triggered? Just raw materials. So why are we not... Zero of 132 spaces currently in use. Now I would expect these to be triggering every boulder in the map to move them all up into there. And it's not. Okay, so let's do something a little different. Let's get rid of it and make a new one. Just in case the rules have changed somehow. Uh, raw materials, just do something like that. There are 42 of 44 spaces currently in use. I'll bet you the game had kind of lost track of it. Let's find out. Yeah, priority system. Now it knows where all the boulders are. Okay. So that helped out a lot. Let's grab that, add a few more. Something like that. And click away, back in. 57 of 64 spaces, so there's space left over, so that should mean that pretty much every boulder now is triggered. Okay, because I think they slow down as they walk through or around something. That's why I like to make my main hallways too wide. Um, so let's increase the priority down the, the hallway and into the bedrooms. That would make this feel a lot better to get rid of a lot of this clutter. Right there there okay they'll haul all these away today and so now we need to figure out how to get wood into here yes yeah, calling for any hmm so what is the stumbling block here I guess kick this all back up and just get them to do nothing but cut wood until we've overwhelmed all of these building spots and maybe they are a higher priority than a storage spot that could be it so or I could get rid of a lot of are these let's get rid of those just temporarily um, what's the fastest way to do that orders cancel I do that yeah so now those are not being called for as far as using planks and our forest is over here. Let's let's kick the priority up on hauling more logs in. Rather than going out and cutting more. We have plenty out there. We just got to get them in. And what are you? Cassiterite? Cassiterite. 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 There are a lot of interesting names or... For minerals and whatnot throughout this map, throughout this game. Just like Dwarf Fortress probably draws a lot of of uh, influence from there. Dwarf Fortress is enjoyable, but it is a... It's like playing chess for the first time. There's there's a lot to Dwarf Fortress. It's, it's, they've had half a lifetime to create that game, I think. And it, it just keeps getting deeper and deeper so that a new person playing it gets overwhelmed and doesn't even know where to go with it. So unless you've watched Quill 18 or someone else play it to give you some exposure to it, just jumping into it fresh is, is a bit uh, bit difficult. I'm noticing some of these guys light up. They have a torch in their inventory. They don't. I thought some of them did. Interesting. I thought at one time I saw a torch in one of there. If I were to double click, doesn't work. You are Osmond. Do I get anything else from here? I do not. Hmm. 
Okay. I thought when I first started playing this, I noticed there was a torch in the inventory of the ones that when they got into the dark, they lit up. Let's see if this one with the interesting name <laughs> lights up. He doesn't. So what's the difference? One's just got a darker personality or something. I'm not sure. But they are getting all the logs out of the, the rocks out of here now, which makes this feel so much better. It does. And we could play with lighting. We ha I haven't done it. Hasn't the, I know the game doesn't um, give them a negative if it is not lit up. But uh, so they, don't, they don't get any debuffs for it being dark. But it does record a little better if it's lighter. <clears throat> so let's think about that. Build lantern. Lantern takes two of any kind of metal ingot, which is why I wanted to get this system going, because I don't want to run out of metal ingots before I get a chance to start building tools. But let's... They can walk through it. So if we were to put a couple here and here, we could light up both rooms that way. I think I'll do that. Um... Priorities, am I running? No. Priorities in this area now. Let's get the cauldrons all maximum priority again. Okay. And let's get the lights a higher priority just so we can see them done before this episode runs out. Okay, so logs are being hauled in. Now that we got all of the boulders in, we're going to start hauling all the logs in. They're dropping off to here. You are a maximum priority. So I guess we're going to go to storage before we go to uh, imports. So, boy, I wish I could just say, kick these guys out. I mean, I could maybe delete the pallet and kind of artificially do it. Speaking of artificially doing it, I was thinking about something. Um, I know that you can get a fire in this game. Sometimes spontaneously, a wooden bench will just light on fire. It doesn't take a lightning, doesn't need a lightning strike. Just something went wrong or something too close to... To this guy that's or the forge over here and everything starts to light and then it spreads it is good to have these guys in individual rooms I've been piling them all together but it is possible to get a fire in here that's going to spread jump across and spread and they tend not to leap at the idea of putting out the fire it does automatically trigger as a highest priority but they're going to do whatever they were last doing. And if that happens to be going to bed, then it's eight hours later before they're going to come out to fight the fire. And by then, it's almost all burnt out. I got to wondering, I haven't tried it before, if I did a Rimworld tactic, draft everybody, and then undraft them, would they reevaluate their lives? So if we get into that situation this episode or next one, I'll give that a try and see if it works. Anyway, are we to a point that I can kick this speed up? I think so, though I'm still really waiting for fish to show up. And we need to get a fish barrel in here, too. So another reason to get more barrels going. Okay, so we do have the one barrel here, which doesn't seem to be snagging. Let's see here. You available. None are available. Why is that? If I were to go to resources and go to products, barrels... Barrels, there's one beach barrel. Nope. All barrels, beach barrel, awful barrel, awful beach barrel. So this is a worse quality than this one. So we made this one, this one we came with. That might be reasonable to say. And what their value is because of their grade. But you are, if I click on you, Ah, you're sitting over here because you haven't been built yet. You're just waiting. This is calling for... Yeah, one is assigned. Okay. So why can I not get a hold of the other one? Barrels. So the awful beach barrel. I click on you. Ah, information. Awful beach barrel is due for hauling, so it's okay. It's not available because there is an order waiting to be done to haul it from here to its pallet, which is or its storage is probably over here. But this, all the spaces are currently in use because we don't have enough room. 
Okay, see, so we're starting to decode how the game works. Okay, so first of all, let's get all these hauled. And let's kick up the priority for double the size of this so we have more room because there's a lot of things that qualify for what goes in here. All the hoops and the staves and the cauldrons and chests and mm, I wish we had linen and tanks and millstones. We've got to make all those. Rope. we got to make rope. There is the industry of, of textile and weaving. That makes the, the linens. It makes the... Uh, what's moving over here? makes the rope and, and whatnot for building other things. So once that happens, I don't know how many of these went away. I think we're getting ready to go to bed. Yeah, everyone's heading to the bed right now. And once we get some linens, we'll start building these beds and they'll be a lot happier. Right now they are sleeping on rough floor. So negative 10. So it'll be nice when that gets taken care of. Last one goes to bed, speed kicks up. Good. Got the lamps made. Okay, so that lights up the area pretty good. At least enough so we can we can see it at night on this video. But I mean, I'd love to put one in every room just to light up the place so it looks better. They won't notice the difference, but we will. But we'll also run out of... Where are the ingots nowadays? Are they still... Yeah, they're up here waiting to be put away. And you, we could tear you apart and get access to more things so if you okay I think it was kind of heading toward that if you needed this tool right there there we go this guy we know we have to we just saw it in that wagon up there but there's not available it's because they are waiting to be hauled so they are officially in use until they get brought to here to be dropped off then they'll be available. So we could spur that along by, say, demolishing that. Maybe that will, by throwing it on the ground, it'll reset it, and now it'll say, oh, now it's available for just a split second for here, and now it's is assigned to it. I'm curious if we can make that happen just to see it happen. So if I were to kick all those up as a... Ah, oh, that one doesn't stay. That one's saying, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, it'll happen when it happens. <laughs> Any planks? Oh, 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 we got a plank. We got a fishing pole. All right. Now, and we had a fishing pole over here. We do. Okay. Let's take you to none. I think that means this fishing pole is available. So now in tools, fishing pole, right there, one is available. So we should be able to get our fisherman finally, fisherwoman, Magna Hild, to go and pick up a fishing pole. She's in her carpentry role right now. Dropping that off. Now, you're going to grab this fishing pole? No, what you doing? You're hauling a log. So now you're in your hauling role. And that log... Oh, you dropped it off? Yeah, now you are hauling a stone boulder. So how do I get you back into here? Let's reset that, just in case that's a thing. Make it fresh in her memory that she loves that she loves to fish, or she's going to learn how to fish. Because I really need to get fish rolling through here again. And checking the priorities on our foods. Okay. And I didn't see where you went. You? Yeah. Now you are crafting a rolling pin. Oh, what's it take to get you to fish? Let's take you off of carpentry for a while. You are no longer a carpenter. You're just fish. Now what do you do? You're still going to craft that rolling pin unless I reset you. And then reset you. And you are now a rough boulder. No, now you're hauling. Okay, if you can't fish, why is that? Why are you not grabbing a fishing pole? Fishing pole is still tools. Two are unavailable. Now they're waiting to be hauled, apparently, to a uh, <laughs> to a stockpile. <laughs> All right. Uh, there. So I guess maybe by next episode we'll get to fish. Yeah. There are little efficiency bugs to yet work out apparently 
Otherwise, well, oh, you're gone. Okay, who grabbed you? Where are you? There you are. You are drinking water. Okay. Ah, you are hauling the fishing pole to storage. Okay. Now it's available. When you're done eating, the Elf Spain Mushroom Glow Mushroom Melatonia Mushroom Soup. So apparently food needs three ingredients. And maybe she had that hauling job already triggered. I wonder, now do you have your own priority? You do not. But we... Hmm. The logs are all in. All the highest priority stuff is done. So when are you going to get the order to get that fishing pole? Collecting an awful oaken fishing rod. Finally. We're going tomorrow, hopefully, to see some fishing happen. Okay. So, it is possible. Once you kind of figure out how it works, you're going to bed. Tomorrow morning, now there is one thing they're working on, on as far as the quality of life and, and efficiency of the game. They do tend to get up <clears throat> and go and start whatever their task is. But at a certain time, they're all programmed to go back and take care of getting a drink of water and something to eat. And sometimes... That means going all the way up, starting to fish, coming all the way back down, getting a drink. Although that may not be the case because they can drink here. Might be. Hopefully they go to the closest drink. But other things that, you know, going off to mine something way off over here because we wanted that piece of coal and having to walk back to get a drink. So that's still an issue, but she's going fishing. Okay. Crack of dawn, not even dawn yet. She knows when the fish bites, or she's making a guess. She's she's a level zero right now. Like, let's follow her for a while. Let's see how quickly fishing levels up and how that works. Any skill. So I would imagine the difference is that it's going to... It, it's, a, it's a matter of how quickly this bar fills by how what level you're at. That's a guess. Now she'll take the fish back to the stockpile. It'll then be moved into the fish barrel, which to me is backwards, but that tends to be what happens. She's now carrying a carp. And let's see what she does with said carp. Fish barrel is not even in yet. Let's get that in. Though we don't have one available because it hasn't been hauled yet. <laughs> but we do have the the uh, food stockpile. Let's get these boulders out of here. Get more room in our food stockpile. She's off to go fish again. Okay. Then let's get our butcher's top at the highest priority. As soon as there's something to butcher, they'll butcher it. The meat will go in here. The cook will see, ah, we have meat. And we'll start filling the next cauldron with it. Before our mushrooms run out. Mushrooms run out. That's something else I was thinking of while editing first of all let's get rid of the barracks <clears throat> though this might be a good place for a barracks i know quill 18 used to always do that when he'd he would invade a an open space in dwarf fortress he would always set up his barracks down there let them train down there and as random monsters would come in they would get some practice our guys don't seem to be uh, as adept at fighting as dwarf fortress dwarves but um, our, our dwarves just need more experience. But yeah, this could be a good place for a, a barracks. But what I was about to say is there is something called a mushroom farm. So this is where the mushrooms were growing. I'm kind of thinking we need to maybe do something with that. Mushroom farm, a log that has been injected with mushroom spawn to produce several harvests of delicious juicy mushrooms let's make that happen um like let's make it happen several times let's do something like this and then a shock tank after inoculation a mushroom log is placed in this tank to shock 
the mushroom colony and encourage it to grow mushrooms. So let's... It takes four stones. Let's do two of them. Okay. And let's kick this group up uh, there so we can see this happen this episode, hopefully. So there's that. And let's throw the barracks in. Don't know that we're going to be using it anytime soon, but let's at least make this a thing down here. So a barracks is basically sleeping spots, which eventually will be beds. But for now... So maybe with the first wave of, see how these auto build, um, of immigration, we'll be able to pick two to four out of the new bunch or whoever's got the least experience of doing things out of this bunch and start training them with the training dummies and the archery. Oh, I need a long distance for archery. So it's up there. We'll do there. So archery, like that, and this is where we can store our weapons. So down in here, a couple of weapons racks and a couple of armor stands. And all of this can be a lower priority. Let's not spend time building this just yet. But that's a reminder to make sure it lands somewhere. Like we need to still land quite a few other things somewhere. So... You know, this hasn't built yet. Let's not make that mistake. Let's cancel you. And let's cancel you. There we go. Disable. Come on, I want that one. Let's put a wall in here. Construction. Build. Stone wall. Let's separate these out. So that if there is a fire, it only takes out one room's worth. I do believe it was mentioned that fire does not pass through doored off rooms. So let's consider doing that very thing. Let's... Oh, you're a problem. Oh, you aren't even here yet. Okay, disable you and you go away. And let's do the same thing. I wish... I'm hoping this, this does show up in the game someday, but you could click on something and then copy and then start building again. That would be nice. I've got to go back to find it in the menus each time. But again, the game is still, still a baby. Minus. Did I not do that? I thought I did. All right. So there, build. You guys, let's do that. There and a door there. And then we will mine out some more room over here. Uh, we're only six wide, so we can continue down. Though we always risk breaking into a new cavern somewhere and unleashing some undead something coming at us. Um, yeah. Um, I want to dig at least these guys and these guys. So we'll do that, get those dug out. All right. So that's happening. Any more fish come in? Uh, not you, but we do have a, that is a carp that was killed by Magna Hild, Stonebeard, Neophyte, Fisher, yeah. Um, this was killed by Golden Salt, no, Solvej. Um, Butchery, okay, we have three small bones and we have some carp fillets and the knife. So we are doing it. We just need to get it moved back into into the storage so it can start be turning turning it into soup. It should then land on the bench over here and then go into the soup. Okay. So that system is working now. And she is not up yes, she is up here fishing. She is now between level one and two. Okay. Little by little. So I think for a while I'm just going to leave her with nothing but fishing. Let's get us stocked up on fish. Rather than have two of them fishing, let's just make her dedicated to it. It will skill her up faster, so she'll bring it in quicker. Yeah, rather than trying to skill up two of them, they only get half the skills. So that is her job from here on out. And later when more dwarves arrive we will be able to specialize more so that they 
do nothing but cut logs all day long. Uh, speaking of, we're empty again. Okay. So, boy, I can't do that in the dark. <laughs> we're at full speed, though. We'll be lighting up here real soon. They're, yeah, they're waking up. Um, these two with torches who don't show that they have torches. Are you not there? There you are. Yep, doesn't show it. Okay. So, we don't need to water because it's raining, but we do have other things. You need afflicted by pests. So they do need to get out there and get the bugs out. So I do like to go through and just kick these up to make sure that our plantings grow as fast as they can. The bugs will most likely... It doesn't give me a rate at which the bugs are inhibiting their growth. Maybe it will inhibit their their final product quantity. Don't know. Okay, you grab the fillets. You're going to drop them off in here. All the way to the end. And then someone's already put fillets over here. Good. Waiting for these guys to run out. One soup is available still. So soon this one's going to be able to be taken back to the kitchen to work on. Let's make sure that this space, highest priority, as soon as something's available, fill it. And it'd be nice to get some more cauldrons made. Okay, so this is pretty much where we left off, is this area. Let's kick in that wall. And this was going to be the smithy yeah so you're going to be here and you are the export so we need to input smithy i think we just need fuel oh we need the the ingots and the planks or the plates so import at least two there might be a third that goes in there so this area needs to get done needs to get built they're clearing out the debris, so they should be bringing blocks in here real soon. We're going to get more fishing poles soon. Don't actually need that, so let's kick that back down to match you guys. Right there. Though I did need another barrel soon. Ah, I don't have it triggered. I didn't, I turned them off. Okay. So we'll get to work on a barrel soon, but we did have a fishing pole. She did get the order before I turned that down. You are grabbing stones. We're putting blocks out here to get these walls built. The stone door is, looks like a uh, sandstone door is already loaded up and ready to go. You, I want to kick you up there. The forge, want to get that going. You are already almost up there. You're loaded. Let's get you built. Max you out. Someone's going to walk over here and start, uh, start building you. Now, in you, import, you're going to need crushed ore and you're going to need coke so we'll put coke in there crushed ore is going to land in here and then we could put more of these in and specify things let's get all of the crushed copper ore all of the crushed gold ore what have you though i don't know if they can get to here anymore did i oh i guess they can walk through okay so we could input a couple other things and then export some things. Though I would say let's turn these priorities down. They're not all that important. That one is. I need that one going. And the outputs are already fine. Okay. So to get that one running. This, this runs when there's six of something. We have 15. Coke fuel has been made. We have no more crushed coal to put in to be turned into coke okay and the crushed coal comes out of these guys they're not being brought down they're not being brought down to put into this space right here to run through and dump back into wherever where are they sitting right now they would normally be put here or else they would go up into the into this guy and there aren't any 
So have we used them all? We've used them all, and they're all now in turned into coke, which just got hauled and put into here. Okay, we're building this guy. Now we're building that guy. Ah, yeah, psyched us out there. There we go. Now, crafting. So, if we get six hematite, we can get iron. Or if we get six cassiterite, we can also... Oh, we can get ten. Okay. All right. And then we have native copper. Or malachite, which makes copper. Or chrysocola. Chrysocola. It's the new coke. We get copper out of that too. We've got gold. We've got galena for silver or native silver. We've got hematite. Oh, to make iron plates. So all up above, here's the, the formulas for making all the plates. So we can make ingots and plates. And out of those ingots and plates, we can make other things. Okay. So let's see if we can get this industry up and going before this episode is over. Food is happening. Food is happening. We brought you over. We've loaded in potatoes and carp. And what, I guess we need a third of something. Did we get this going? We got something happening. Okay, so you need any one log. Let's make that happen before there's no more mushroom spawn. So now it's daytime. Let's get some logs happening. So every other for a while. You and... Take you, actually take both of you, that one, and there, and there, you're kind of crowded in that area, and grab you, I do every other because it, I believe, gives them a chance to grow, to drop seeds and start growing in the spaces left behind. It could be that they'll grow anyway, I don't know, but logically this makes more sense to me. So, let's see, how far in do we want to go? Let's grab you, and that one, and that one, and roll through here, that one, and that one. Okay. And let's kick the priority up on a few of those. This group right in here. So whoever is a... Not a carpenter. What's the other one called? A woodcutter. Should get the orders as soon as they finish with whatever they're working on, like getting a drink. A couple of them just went and did that. They'll head out there and hauling, hauling a tin chisel. Who left the chisel out in the woods? You are hauling a tin pickaxe. What does that mean? Yeah, they're just laying out here. Oh, I just triggered the whole area with a high priority, and they were amongst that. Ah, okay. And just because that's bugging me, let's tell somebody to get up here and haul these guys in. More fish coming in? Uh, no, you're bringing water. You're bringing a perch. Good. So, perches, fish are dropping in. They're being butchered. You're not being butchered. It doesn't give a sense of being of rotten. Now, at this point, the monsters aren't programmed to give any drops, to my knowledge. So they're just, there's bones over there. They're just um, disposing of them. But later, there'll be some something that we'll get out of the various monsters. You know, it'd be nice to get, I don't know, monster armor. You know, the bone that comes out of them turns into a special plating or something. Chitin or what have you. Not real sure of all the different kinds of monsters in the game right now. I run into the fun golem. Yeah, the mushroom people. I've run into some undead dwarves. And I've run into spiders. The spiders I didn't deal with, they came out of the cave, ran over straight to the elephants, and the elephants stomped them. So <laughs> I just I just found a body later. <laughs> elephants are your friends in this game, I tell you. Set up your colony next to a herd of elephants. If uh, something chases you out of the dark, just run for the elephants. I wish you could control them. I wish I could tell that one that was running from the pack of, of mushroom peoples to quickly run over to... Where are they at nowadays? 
Oh, they're up in here somewhere. Oh, the elephants have moved. When it gets, there they are. When it gets light again, let's take another look for deer. I think there are deer over here somewhere. But I can't see them. Eh, well, it's not too dark over here. Ah, sun's coming up. There we go. There's some deer over here. And two more over here. Okay. Are they migrating any closer? Deer we can go and hunt. Got a deer over here. A pair of them. It's still a long ways away. Ah, we have some up here too. I have wild boars. Still, yeah, a long way away. Thorium ore. I wonder what that is. Thorium. Okay. And we've got our coal and our jasper gems. Our hematite. More coal. Coal. There we go. What else is roaming around here? And what was I supposed to be doing as soon as I got light? Besides the deer. Are there any deer in this forest? Elephants. Elephants. The trees disappear when an animal goes behind. So it's easy to see. And in this game, there's no reason to put a bridge in, but I wanted to... I'll put one in anyway, just to show it. A lot of, a lot of maps, the, the river runs right through the center, and then you have a reason to get to the other side. Now, we're dropping a lot of bones. Let's tell this area, first of all, is add tiles. Like so. And then, let's add... Bones are in raw materials. Oh, they're already here. Okay. Small bones. So they'll take those bones and turn them into arrowheads. Anything else in this one that we don't want? So products, raw materials, tools, treasure, weapons. Okay. So we could then just simply say, why don't you go and haul these just so we can see that being done. What's behind there? More bones and more bones. Okay. So the fish are being butchered. And they're being butchered at a rate a little bit faster than we can turn into meals. And we have a cauldron missing. Did you guys haul a cauldron somewhere? Oh, it's sitting up there. Just out of the way. Let's increase the priority on all of that and get that done. We still have some meals. The, the more of their rock bread we can keep them from eating, the longer we're going to have what we'll call emergency rations available. And I don't know if they share, meaning if one runs out and the other one still has five, I think the one that runs out starves. So I, I don't get the sense that they will swap amongst themselves. So we do want to make sure that that happens. Okay, so we have the ability to make fuel, to make coke. Coke comes down here. And here we go. Let's get the um, crushed ore. And specifically what? You are hematite. Let's get the hematite moved over here quickly right there now we're going to start turning this into ingots okay we're going to call for ingots of all kinds and we're going to call for plates of all kinds and let's kick the ingots up in priority let's kick you up in priority and both of these guys in priority so we can see that happen once that gets going Let's concentrate on this, which is going to need a lot of blocks. I guess blocks have kind of gone away for a while. Yeah, we got to take you up. We have plenty being delivered. We just need to call for them. It's strange that hire isn't enough to do anything. That is a stonemason right there. We only have one, and he is not happy at all because he slept on the ground. Oh, this game does get easier once that first wave of migrants come in and you get more available to do things. Who do we tap to also run as blacksmith? No, stonemason and blacksmith. Okay, so you're making the blocks. Who We have two of them that can make the metal and make the tools okay so we just need to find somebody to be available also it could be the third position here to do stone masonry so you are the one who's already doing it you're doing carpentry and farming 
you're doing cooking, which I want to make sure is always available, and you're doing blacksmithing. You're doing farming and cooking. Let's swap these out. Let's put the... So that was farmer and chef. Okay, so let's zero these guys out and put farmer in... Oh, chef in this one. And farming in this one. And we'll do the same thing here. Blacksmith and chef. I do it this way because I can't put it into this space because they're already a chef. So if I villager them all out then I can go and put swap the order around okay and it maintains their skills that they have built up already okay so that way while well, these other jobs will get done whenever there's a cauldron available I want that thing filled okay so I still need another mason so not the chefs not the fisher no let's just keep building a fish so who's that going to be I guess it's over here. And only when these aren't available, so that's kind of rough. Who else could it be? When we're not cutting trees. Alright, let's do that one. Still Mason you. And when we're not these two, we'll still Mason you. Okay, let's see how that works for a while. Let's see if somebody gets the order to go over there and do that. We are 5.30, so we're getting close to the end of another day. Another Four or five hours left to uh, to accomplish some things. Our eleven meals is down to six, and I guess it's time to increase these guys just a bit. There we go, and go ahead and get more chairs in there. Um, butchering. So a chef is doing chef things, and priorities. Kick that one back up. Make sure that gets done. Anybody making blocks yet? Nobody is. You are drinking water. Ah, oh, we got the water in over here. But we did not get it in. Oh, we want to get water down in this area. Probably should put doors into, you know, access points. Into, like, there and there, eventually. And... I guess that's enough. Yeah. So this one... Um, let's prioritize that one and get a door in there. Okay. You got the forge... Or the bloomery going. You got six crushed ore in there and some coke fuel. Going to kick out some ingots, I believe. It should be ingots. That is the higher priority. In which case we can afford to start building more lamps once we know we've got a good source of okay so you still need a bunch of blocks loading that up you are doing some mining okay so let's get some doors in oh the blocks are all going to things like walls and doors and what have you yeah so it'll probably be next time before we see this guy going um what am i doing here construction Doors. There. There. That worked, right? Yeah. Block is hiding it. Let's get the block out of there so we can see it. And any more pathways we need to clear? Get that put away. Um, kind of built that in the wrong place. Yeah, I should probably move that. That is one of these. It They'll walk right through it, but aesthetically it looks wrong. You, I got you triggered, right? Now, let's get you out of the path. Pathways, move you. Uh, move you to, And they'll just take them up and drop them off right here, so that's not adding too much extra labor. Otherwise, over here, did we get a single log in here yet? We did. So, we're still the highest priority, but apparently... There are so many other jobs to do that they just never quite get to here. I think they work on the closest one to them. So projects that are far away tend to... It's kind of, I think Banish was that way too. They would work on what was near them, unless it was a road. <laughs> then they drop everything and go build a road. But 
Otherwise, projects far away tended to hardly ever get done because they were too busy doing all the, the projects right next to them. You are hauling a iron axe. You're going to go cut a tree. Okay. So let's get these guys hauled. There we go. And let's haul you guys. Okay. Get them into here, get them into here, and hopefully get some of them built. And get them infused with spawn before we cook them all. Though it seems like this number is getting bigger. It's like, oh, these are seeds also. There's some spawn, but some of these are seeds. Okay. Oh, we're doing some harvesting then. We're beginning to harvest. We're in autumn. Whoa. So... The hemp has always been the problem. So it looks like we're not going to get to 100% before winter comes here and then they're going to die out. So note to self, don't bother with hemp, which you need to make your linens, which you need to make your beds. But don't bother with hemp until you've got an irrigation system going, which is not going to be easy for us. That water is way up here. If we get a rope, we can build a well. And maybe the well will supply it. I'm not sure. But we could build... And we could do this. Yeah, we could. We could build a pump. Which sucks water out of the river. And then sends a pipe all the way down to fill up an irrigation ditch. So if I can keep this in line... It looks like it was a straight line right there. Build him. We need gears, so we're going to have to get the, the artisan bench up and running first. And plates. We've got plates, but they're still sitting here waiting to be brought to a storage before they're available. I guess we better just say, guys, just get that done so we can get them officially back into the system. And we've got another wagon here that's kind of hiding on us. Let's get that brought in and get all of this done, too. Okay, and that will then get them your a chisel. Let's get you put away. So, items sitting outside on the ground aren't available to use until they get back into a stockpile. Once that happens, then they're available for, for use. But until then, it gets frustrating. You don't realize why you can't use that pickaxe that's, you know, or that fishing pole. It's just sitting right there. Speaking of, since we have the one that we need, we can turn this back on again. You go there and you're high priority. Okay. So, it probably, it is autumn. Probably a good idea to get this guy turned back on again and start making items to sell. So we can keep the income rolling in. So we can buy linen. Over here. So we can buy hemp to make linen, or just buy the linen itself, which looks like a pile of logs. There you are. Or to, I guess, buy more potatoes. So it would be good to buy more hemp seeds. Mm. Keep adding more jobs, but they'll bring what is being called for. So we kind of need to get these guys built to be calling for what we want them to bring. There is that. You need shields, which we need to start building. But they're just a quick little thing that gives you something to sell. We could also sell these guys. That's worth one gold. But I don't want to waste them. I want to turn them into this guy, which is worth... I don't know if that's for 15 or just for, or for each. But worth have to be worth more than this since we put more work into it. Hmm... I don't know what we do with the gems at this point. If we just sell them, or if we can actually make something from them. You know, gem encrusted shields or something. I don't. When I did have the artisan bench working, I didn't see any option for that yet. So I'm assuming that's something that's yet to be built into the game. Oh, we have logs. Okay. Now, what happens here? Sycamore mushroom log, highest priority, prog uh, progress to complete inoculation. 
You are waiting to be injected. You are all waiting. So this one has been done in its building. I assume we're going to get a, a harvest of mushrooms on this guy soon. Good. So let's keep you guys at a high priority. Make sure this happens. And maybe we'll have winter mushrooms. I don't know how quickly they grow. Maybe we'll have more food available. But food available. Our food right now is not much. Not much at all. Which means we don't have much of a wave coming in. Hopefully this stuff will all harvest. 86%. Day 25. Was there 10 days in spring and 10 days in summer? So we're already five days into, or halfway into autumn? A little worried here. Let's keep the priority up high. And I guess we need to move all of our farmers back into a high priority. Make sure that really happens. Yeah, I hate to do it, but I need farming first. We've got to have this food come in. So you are, you are also a, let's see, you, there, farming, and it was, it'll, it'll maintain here so you can see what it was that, that you, you messed up. Um, yeah, let's do the chef too. You, villager, villager, farmer, and chef. So, when there's too few people, you do have to make a lot of sacrifices. The fish coming in is, I'm going to say it's equal to harvesting in that it brings in food. But we can bring in fish in the wintertime. I'm pretty sure we can't harvest in the wintertime. So, let's do this as well. You are now farming. You are now fishing second. Okay. That's three farmers. Is that enough? This is the season. Let's throw farming into another space over here. In fact, let's swap those two. You are mining. You're going to go to there. You're going to go to farming. You're going to go to mining. Okay, so that's four farmers now. that can go through and make sure that all of this gets done. So that these guys... Get all the pests gone, get watered, whatever it takes to give us a, as good a harvest as possible. I was kind of shocked to see just this. Normally by now there's hundreds in the food, not just five. So we're hurting. Food kind of got away from us there. All right, well this is kind of happening. Next time we should be able to get to this. And traders will probably pop in next episode. And we did mine these out, and nothing came of it. So it's a good chance that we can mine the rest of these out and not worry about breaking into a new chamber. Okay. Anything else to get done before this episode is over? Check the priorities on these guys. Get them moved. They're both empties. Oh, guys, come on. Get these moved. So your priority for the room itself... Is not there so we need somebody I guess a villager to transport so that a cook can then start loading it up is that your job nope you're hauling two barley seeds ah so you're hauling barley oh are they gonna start replanting with our old seeds they are no 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 stop planting hmm plant in spring summer or autumn Okay, so maybe those seeds will not be harmed. What are your rules? Same thing? So what's the rules over here? Hemp. Plant in spring. Material required to produce linen. So we do not want to... Well, we won't be able to because it won't be done in time. You are 68%. We're five days left. Darn. You guys are hops and the same thing. You're not going to make it either. So we're going to have to buy... Hops and hemp, at least, again. What else is here? Corn? Same thing. We're going to have to have these guys in irrigated fields, apparently. So we need to kick the priority up here. We did. Got to get these built, which means we've got to get more planks. 
How do we get the 16 planks out of here? Well, we are. They're in here now. Okay. So we just got to get these built. Then we can request all those seeds. We can get the irrigation going, which means I was I think I was working on that and I got out of it, which means laying pipes all the way down. So many pipes. Down to like that. Then we can set up build, no, irrigation through here and we can irrigate our fields. And I believe it goes three wide now from the irrigation. So unfortunately I just gave them a whole bunch of new tasks to do, but yeah, we'll lay those out. Um, up through there, through there. And I don't know if it's the farmers who do that or, or what. But that is a plan for next year. Get that going. And we make the pipes over here at this one. So one of these outputs. We would need a new output. Export there. And we would go through and choose the pipe and have them just constantly making pipes and they would eventually start filling all those pipes in. We're going to need gears from the artisan bench. We're going to need um, plates from up here that are eventually going to get hauled to here. Yeah. So little by little, it'll get there. A lot of it won't get done this year, but if we can get some food in, then the immigration wave that comes in will fill a lot of our voids and help get things done. But I think I'm going to call this one done, and I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.